We made it to Pomona. John's car still doesn't run. No way. Let's go check in on these guys and uh, hopefully John gets his car ready so we get it out on track and uh, see what this thing does. Nothing like working on your car in front of a bunch of people. Yeah. With your with your opponent. <laughs> Morning, guys. What's up, boys? What's going on? Um, you know, Mike's over here working on my car. Mike. What's up, bud? Hey. You know if you wanted to sabotage us, you could just let Brad finish it, right? I'm about to wow. rock to this. <laughs> All right, so it's Friday. It's 11.30. The race is at 12.30, and I see some parts missing here, John. No, it's back together now. So Mike actually came over here to help us align the belts and the pulleys and stuff like that because we kept throwing belts. As soon as I started the car, it would throw the belt off. So I was prepared to not do burnouts. I was prepared to just go in and just drive the car because it was it would throw the belt like in the middle of third gear. Oh man! But it made it made dyno pulls though. It made fierce dyno pulls. This junkyard motor at the JYD 400 to the wheels. Ooh. Oh yeah! About half of what we need to probably even be in the race. You're gonna tree the shit out of them though, right? That's the only thing you can do. Look impressive on the tree. All right. So what's the plan going forward for today? Uh, plan first plan. We take the JYD motor down. I chop trees, Mike blinks, forgets where he's at, and I just drive. Then he wakes up, realizes we're going, drives past me, I'll do a courtesy wave as he drives by possibly, and then um, we're gonna come back and pull the motor out. Or, Mike can complete spaces on it. Wait, you, you're what? Or the other plan is Mike either blows up, forgets what he's doing, misses third gear. Yeah, all right, I don't care about that. What did you say before? We're gonna pull the motor out. Yeah, what? <laughs> he's, he's missing the part that I'm not understanding. Oh, what do you so say? So as soon as we pull off the first race, we're coming right back here, and we're pulling the JYD motor out to put the bad boy motor in. And then we're gonna go, oh, here's the best part. Sandbag. Here's the best part. We also gotta measure for brand new core lovers. Right now, actually. And try and find something. Forgot about that. We gotta measure for core lovers. Right race now. day meets test and tune. That's what change. are you gonna do for a tune? Uh, we're taking it back to Accelerator, he's gonna throw on the rollers and get it to it. I don't even know the guys that accelerated, but shout out to them because that's gonna be a nightmare and I'm sure they're gonna sleep on the dyno tonight. So, all right, I guess, uh, Build John? Race car, race, race car. Good luck. Thank you. Oh God, poor John. I don't envy him at this point, but I feel like I might be throwing wrenches at the uh, midnight hour, so. Yeah, well let's go check in with Finnegan and see how he's doing because this thing looks pretty complete. And it looks really rad. It does look really rad. Hey Dan, stuff one of those things down in there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, have fun. How's this beautiful machine doing? Well, it's doing about as good as it always does. Let's see, in the last week we've had the cylinder heads off twice, changed the oil nine times, finally gave up trying to fix the water that was going into the intake valley and just drained the radiator. So nice. Now, crossing our fingers every pass, it just doesn't That's melt. lightweight though. Oh yeah, it knocks 40 pounds off the front end and then Woo! you do monster wheelies that you've never done before. See the sky, pray it's going straight, lift and make it a horrible pass where the parachute falls out. Man. That was my yesterday. Well you've, you've had a pretty gnarly couple of days because not only did you have all the problems with this thing, but you drove cross country on your own. Like you didn't, this isn't an arrive and drive situation. Oh no, no, I had an epic road trip with my friends just tooling around in a really unreliable old ramp truck. Yeah, it's been epic just getting here. So. What, what's your best time of the weekend? So, or, so well, the week? Uh, it was, it was good. Whether, whether you tell us what you did or not, John's car still has a junkyard engine and is not running yet. So it doesn't matter. How about this? After the first race, I'll tell you. Okay, fine. I really want him to stay up and be motivated and I do not want to crush his dreams by showing last night's time slip. So. Oh man. God. Because I like John. Now to the race. we go. Well, this is it. First race. Low power. Here we are walking up to a fight we know we're gonna lose. But hey man, you never know. Everything you never know. everything can go wrong for them as well as us. It's not like Roadkill has the greatest reputation of being reliable either. So So John's car has never done a burnout, never done more than a 60 foot. 
and uh, he has zero seat time in it. So <laughs> this is gonna be pretty interesting. But I just want to see what? him go out you and have what's fun. Weird? Nothing worries me about John. Yeah, because John has like a zen-like focus to things he does in life. I'm sure he'll go out here and pull a perfect tree. So that might not have exactly been the first race we wanted. Maybe it was John's first run at the Pro Tree. It's actually the first time he's really ran that car in anger, so. Especially on that kind of prepared track yeah. strip, because cars have been running on that strip all day. He hasn't actually gotten a real drag launch with that thing, yeah. so. He stalled, still ended up running like a 13 and a 120. Trapping so. 120 though, on the junkyard motor, which is kind of impressive. Yeah, to be honest, I, yeah, I, was, I thought that I was a 13 expecting. second car with a good launch. <laughs> so, hey, yeah. So anyway, now the fun begins. I'm gonna pull this motor. Where it is, the CPR motor just showed up while we were on track. So it's time to put the heat in the car. Time to put the heat in the car. We may have even brought somebody special to help us out. Our boy Skip, who's the number one on Ken Block's team, drove down to Vegas to give us a hand tonight because, you know, figure we could use a little bit more firepower. I mean, Skip, right Skip, you ready to do this? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, isn't that perfect timing? We just got back, and this bad boy's right here. Woo! That's it. Brought the heat. We saw that. Well, here's the first thing. So I left the 3500. The track is so prepped, it pulled the motor, basically stalled it. So it almost died, clutched in, took, I think it's four or five grand, and dumped it to go get going. Speaking of, get the hell out of the yeah. car and go we're, swap we're your engine. We're starting to pull the front of your car off, so. So the game plan is swap the engine. It's about 1 p.m. right now. We try to get this thing back in, and then over to accelerate it by about 5 or 6 p.m. tonight. Throw down a new tune. They're gonna even let us use their lot to do some test pulls and then uh, back here tomorrow and see what it does. You said 20 minutes, it's been 35. We're getting an hour and a half, come on. <laughs> What's up bud, how's it going? It's going. What do you got left? Drive shaft, that's it. That's it? Yeah. All right, we're here to accelerate. Let's do this uh, dyno and see what this thing will make. Hopefully it's a bit more than our 400 horsepower junkyard uh, motor.
day two here at Winter Nationals. This is it, this is the second race. Last night we got more power in the car, I gotta do a couple little test hits, a little bit of launch practice. So we're gonna see what happens today. This first race doesn't go well, well, my face main goes. See what happens. He's not even gonna be able to start his car in the lane. They're gonna have to bump start it. <laughs> see, the thing is, is, he also is not running on any coolant. But see, John's a nice guy. I've just like, you just heat soak the crap out of him because he can't stop. He can't now. He can't shut his car off and start it back up. Right. I mean, they're not running any water in it at all. No water. I mean, no. This is. Are you really gonna play that? I kind of, I no. kind of feel like we need every single chip we can have uh, here. That's real this dirty is, though. Is, that's super dirty. Uh, <laughs> racing. That's racing. He just got the thumbs up from John Force, so that's got to be something good. John just rolled by and was like, "Show the teeth." Gave him the thumbs. more people out here in the stands today. Let's see what our boy John can do. May have bought a pocket knife to a bazooka fight. And here is what might be the most talked about call out match race in the last few years. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Team Hoonigan and the road kill guys. The blasphemy has got a big old Hemi under the hood of that 55 Chevy and a six-speed transmission. And it's being driven by Mike Finnegan of Roadkill fame. John Chase is in a Tri-5 by fire over here on the right side. And if you follow these two guys, you know that there's been a whole lot of trash talk going on. And this is a best two out of three race. The loser has to shave his beard. Kill wins it. John Chase is gonna lose his beard down at the end of the racetrack. Chase looked like he had it in the bag and then something happened out there. It's got the old gasser wheel wobble going still all the way down in the shutdown area. Oh, John almost had it. We haven't heard what happened yet, but. Uh, 21 for Finnegan and 2064 for Chase. Johnny, 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 tell us what happened, man. Dude, my clutch basically stopped working. Ugh. And it wouldn't go in second gear, there's no clutch. Right, so and then death wobble here. happened after like 120 feet. So the whole front of the car shook, so it was over. But man, it felt good. I left it five grand. It felt good. But man. Well, time to the own up. We've got the clippers up here. We're gonna get this thing started and let the shaving begin. So after ten straight years. I gotta make sure you do this going on. You do this voluntarily. What is going on? Still uh, racing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're gonna continue. Oh, I didn't realize it was Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Dude. Yeah, back to it. I 
right, here we go. Let's see what that face looks like. Oh, man. Okay, Mr. Mike, yes. since I do not have a beard now, yeah, didn't recognize you. <laughs> we should definitely have a rematch. I'm in. So now the stakes are this. Okay. Loser gets the other car's name tattooed on him. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh Sick. Right. Yeah! There you go, the rematch uh. for the tattoos. You're gonna look great with a blasphemy tattoo on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs>